Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be doing something a little bit different uh, for the end of our Gigan Press series. Uh, what I've done is I've loaded up each of the ideal players in each position that I listed in each video into my Boring United team. Uh, and I thought it might be fun just to, to play a match all together and, and see how they get on. So uh, the next match we're playing is actually the first round of the FA Cup at home to Wrexham. So I'm going to go straight to the match and we'll, we'll find out what happens. So here we are, we're playing Wrexham. We've got um, Allison, Alexander Arnold, Diaz, Van Dyke, Davis, Kimic, Milinkovic Savic, De Bruyne, Salah, Mbappe, and Haaland. And they're playing against a team that have a goalkeeper called Dibble. So this should be uh, quite an interesting exercise. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make all the outfield positions. I'm just going to make them uh, always trigger press. In the dressing room, we'll try and pump them up. Um, should be winning this comfortably. Alison's looking a bit complacent, as is De Bruyne, so we'll see if we can uh, shake them out of their torpor a little bit. Got Alison. There we go. A few of them are very motivated, so let's uh, let's dive in. Mbappe on the left. Plays it forward, and Salah's there. He's in the box. Takes a shot, and uh, actually Dibble was uh, equal to that. And that's after, what was it, 16 seconds? Bit of a possession here for Wrexham now as they knock it back to Dibble. Going on for a couple of minutes now. We've only had the one shot at goal. Let's come to Alisson, who... Starts playing out from the back. Diaz running with the ball now. Plays it long. Salah should be there. It's actually Haaland. Back to Salah. Who takes a shot and again Dibble keeps it out. Denying Salah for the second time. Now it's going to be Kimmich sending in the corner. So it to the near post. Ooh. I'm not sure if that was Virgil or Diaz, but one of them got ahead on the ball, and I think it just went wide. So Kimmich is going to try that again. Near post, Diaz gets it, heads it across goal, and then Haaland's there at the far post to nod it in. That's the first goal. After, what, five minutes and 40 seconds. So yeah, I think we're using the uh, corner routine I, I, I set up in, a, in a, the first video I did in... Uh, the FM22 Guides playlist. Um, and that's why we put a put a striker on, you know, a sort of far post area, or even challenging the keeper. And a big kick from Dibble, but uh, Kimmich gets ahead on it. Out to Alexander Arnold on the right. He's running with it. He's going to play it into the centre, find Salah again. Can Salah third time lucky? No. Dibble keeps him out again, third time of asking. Will Salah actually score today? Right, Kimmich again, this time on the opposite side. Sends it in. More towards the centre, that one. And Mbappe's there. De Bruyne loses the ball. Wrexham get it away. Getting on. We're in the 13th minute now. We've only scored the one goal, so maybe the, they'll get going properly in a minute. I think of which Savage is running forward. Takes a shot, but it's blocked. Comes out as far as Ruben Diaz, who collects and storms forward. Oh, trips over Alexander Arnold a bit there. Uh, playing some nice patterns to Bruyne to Milinkovic Savage. Finds Arnold. Haaland's on the ball. I think, was it Moe was offside there? Back to Diaz and Ar Alexander Arnold. Keeping the ball well, we're not doing anything particularly dangerous with it. It seems to be Alexander Arnold and Diaz are just a kind of passing to each other mainly. <laughs> there we go. Right, does find to Salah this time, who plays a nice little ball to Mbappe. Who get, okay, Dibble's playing well. It may have been offside, or I think it, no, actually it was a corner, that was the whistle. Um, but Dibble's actually denying Mo Salah three times and uh, Kylian Mbappe so far, so we could put that on his CV. Ruben Diaz with the header. Oh, I think it was going wide, but then the defender knocked it out of play anyway. 
Right, coming towards the end of the first quarter of an hour here. Just the one goal still. To Diaz. Alfonso Davies coming infield there. Plays the ball over the top to Mbappe. I think the defender's got it, but Haaland's there and gets a second. Oh, offside. I think it must have been a close one. It was, look at that. Inches. Virgil. Oh, off the angle. Dibble playing the best game of his career so far, I'm sure. Milankovic Savage. Looks like Haaland's making a run. Savage finds him. Haaland through. Loses the ball. Oh, they are a little triangle, don't they? Ruben to Trent Alexander, Arnold to Milankovic Savage. Right, force the play a bit there. Salah's through. Another shot. This time finds the net. We're just going to wait and see if the referee's flag goes up. It looked a bit marginal to me. But no, it looks like it's a goal. And that's one for Mo. Fourth time of asking. So who was it? I think was it Milankovic Savage who sent it forward in the end? Or was it Diaz? It was Diaz. Through to Salah. And tucked away nicely with the left foot. Yeah, I thought it was a tight offside. How close was it? It actually wasn't that bad. It was it was fairly onside. Now I might just give them uh, a bit of praise just to raise everyone's mood. Virgil's there, a target this time, but doubles equal to it. Bruyne plays a long ball over the top to Haaland, which is a play we might be seeing quite a lot for Man City this season. Uh, Haaland gets it, but doesn't do a lot with it, and uh, Wrexham have got it away. But only as far as Alexander-Arnold, who runs down the right, might get across. Does Haaland's there with an early header? I think that was over the bar. I don't think the keeper got a touch to it. Kimmich again sending in a corner. Uh, Ruben Dias is there. I think that was uh, was that saved by the keeper. Sends it out. So another corner. Oh, that was a bullet header from Van Dijk, but off the crossbar. And out for a goal kick. He could have had a hat trick already, Van Dijk. He was just about a bit more accuracy on these uh, corners. Dibble sends it long. Davis gets ahead to it, then back up to Virgil. I haven't seen Alfonso Davies making as many runs as uh, Trent has. And in fact, Mbappe hasn't seen very much of the ball so far, apart from that one shot he had. But it looks like they could be combining now down the left. De Bruyne pings it forward. Too long for Mo. No, he gets there. Sends it back to Trent Alexander Arnold. To Mo. Shot is blocked. Mo back on the ball. Out to Trent. Forward to Mo. I uh, can't find anyone though, and it's away. So coming up to the half hour mark here, it's 2 0. Two um, quite good goals. But Dibble's made quite a few saves, saves actually. Ruben on the ball again. He's seen a lot of possession, Ruben. To Trent. Oh, nice low cross into the box. There was uh, Haaland and uh, Mbappe were waiting, but they, Brexham managed to get it away. To Kimmich. Back out to Trent. 
It gets another cross in Harlands there to connect. Oh, but Toza, the Wrexham defender, heads it away. Only as far as Davis. Who's going to tap it to De Bruyne? What can he do? Plays it to Mbappe. Has a shot, but it's uh, blocked and it looks like a penalty. Somebody tripped Mbappe, I think, as he was shaping up to shoot. And it's going to be Salah to take the penalty. So this for 3-0. Oh, devil saves again. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, he's not going to be on Salah's Christmas card list. He's uh, denied him about four goals so far. All right, Kimmich to swing one in. Virgil's there again, and this time it's on target, and it Dibble, it's nothing Dibble can do about it. There's just too much power on it, and it's 3-0. We'll give a bit more praise just to see out the uh, first half. There we go. That's an absolute perfect example of the uh, near post header. Bit of a wasted uh, throw in that. Not quite sure what they were trying to do. Tackled Trent, but he wasn't there anymore. Oh, look at them trying to string a few passes together. They're through on goal here. Defence has all got pretty good recovery pace, though, and between them they, they sort that out. Virgil on the ball. Plays a long one out to the left to Mbappe, who's going to run. Oh, knocks into the centre, so uh, Milinkovic Savage passes to Trent. Mo takes the ball and shoots, and it's a nice early one, and it completely wrong foots the keeper, and uh, that's 4-0. Oh, oh, it looks like another offside. That must have been another close one, you know. Yeah, it was off. Maybe maybe a foot offside. <laughs> it wasn't quite as close as I, as I initially thought it was. It all happened quite fast. Dibble breeds another sigh of relief for our second disallowed goal. Alisson with one long one forward, but only as far as their centre-back. De Bruyne to Mo to Trent, who can't get there, and they're on the attack again. They run into Kimmich, who snuffs out the danger, and it's back with Mbappe. Sends it forward. There's Mo out on the right. Back to Alexander-Arnold, who centres it. Kimmich to De Bruyne. Alfonso Davis back to De Bruyne, and who shoots? And it's a lovely one, just... Um, rebounds in off the uh, bottom of the goalpost and that's 4-0 so we're scoring about a goal every 10 minutes at the moment by the look of it so yeah, Davis to De Bruyne who shoots and it's just a, it's a lovely strike and strikes the foot of the post and just uh, pings in alright well I'll praise them again seeing as they've lost a little morale boost after the goal Dibble sends it long, but only as far as Trent, who collects. To Mo. Back to Trent and Kimmich. He's actually been playing really, really well. Now to Trent. He centres to Mo. Who finds Mbappe, but I think the defender just uh, put that behind. So another corner. Near post again, Virgil's there, and that's his second goal. That's another near post header. And nothing the keeper can do about that, and it's 5-0. Anyway, I mean, that's what he's there to do, Virgil. Just absolutely dominates the, <laughs> the other players, the opposition players. I'd see Mbappe do something, hasn't, hasn't done a lot so far. Davis on left, here is Mbappe. What's he going to do? Take on the shot? He does, rebounds, but the defenders deal with it and it's away. As far as Virgil. He's on a hat-trick now. 
all the assists have come from the uh, defence and uh, Kimmich. All right, Trent plays it into Haaland this time, who's probably going to cross it in. Finds Salah. Arnold takes the shot, but it's a tame one, and Dibble makes an easy save. And looks like we're going to come into the half now. Let's have a look at the stats. So we've had 27 shots on target to their one. 13 on, sorry, yeah, shots to their one. 13 on target to their zero. Uh, XG of over three. We've had 13 <laughs> corners. We scored from two of them. 70% um, possession so far. There we go. Plus the two disallowed goals as well. So 5-0 at the half. I think we're going to be quite happy with that. We're going to say, um, you're doing brilliantly. Keep going. Cheer everybody up. And we're going to the second half. They've made a couple of changes. Oh, I feel like De Bruyne could have, could have won that. Trent wins the header, though. Now it's with Salah. Who's going to run? Oh, ooh, got taken out by O'Connor there, so a free kick. Which they're not going to show. So De Bruyne. To Kimmich. Back to Virgil, back to Kimmich. Back to Virgil. Let me guess, back to Kimmich? No, no Virgil's running. To Diaz. Uh, just keeping the ball. That was a bit risky, but it's all right. De Bruyne, a bit of a sloppy pass that. Cut out. They play it forward, but only as far as Diaz again. We're playing just, you know, entirely in their half now, apart from the goalkeeper. We probably could be in their half, in fairness. <laughs> and Haaland's there, and he wins Trent to Haaland, and it's the no, it's sixth goal. And second for Haaland. Perfect. And despite the fact he's played well, Devil's conceded six goals now, so that must be quite dispiriting. But De Bruyne's with the free kick, and it's on target, and it's a goal. That's his second of the match. Six minutes into the second half. Seven nil now. That's a beautiful free kick as well. Few of the players ticking in over the uh, sort of nine out of ten mark now. Poor Rex, and they must be wondering what's hit them. It's like that episode of The Simpsons where Mr. Burns has a baseball team bringing in all the stars. Dibble long, but I suspect Virgil will get that. Oh no. Bit too far to the right. It actually finds the winger, funnily enough. He crosses in. Ruben's there to head away, and it's back to Mbappe. He lobs it forward. Haaland's running. I didn't see if he was on or offside, but it's uh, shots off target anyway. A few players on hat tricks now. in the box and that's a just that's just a really calm precise finish there well I thought the goalkeeper could probably get to it it was hit with such little power but it was obviously placed to perfection and it's number eight I think Mo's on a hat-trick now as well I mean you'd fancy one of these players at least to get a hat-trick before the end Davis finds Mo and just tap first first touch back of the net Still nearly half an hour to play here. Ball finds Haaland, who hits it to Mbappe, who finds Salah running through, who hits, ooh, slides it at goal again, but this time it's wide. Maybe we'll issue another praise instruction just to raise everyone's morale that little bit more. 
Usually I might be looking at making subs, but I'm not going to do that this time, because all the subs on the bench are my usual um, boring United players. They're not going to be nearly as good as this lot. <laughs> Mbappe shows good determination there, and he keeps the ball and he runs forward. Uh, but the shot is at the goalkeeper, who saves. But he does carry it out for a corner. Trent this time to wing it, it send it in. That finds Virgil again, but this time his header goes wide. I wonder if we can get every player, every outfield player to over 9 out of 10. It would be quite nice if we could. So that was good. They did actually get a cross into the box, but Alisson was there and was able to catch it. Let's see how he distributes this now. Kicks it long. Can it find Haaland? No. They keep sending it long, but they they're not <laughs> they haven't got anyone there, so it's just our defenders are getting to it and then just launching attacks. Salah to Trent, who runs with it. Will he shoot or will he cross? Let's see, probably Ooh. Could have found Haaland there, but Dibble Dibble was on the ball. He's played well despite conceding eight goals. Virgil to De Bruyne, finds Kimmich, who sends it forward to Haaland, and that's a nice ball if Haaland can do something with it. He's fallen over, but it's ended up in the back of the net. Did he kick it, or was it It was tackled, and uh, the Wrexham defender tackled it into his own goal? <laughs> that's number nine. Let's look at the replay here. Yeah, so Kimmich pings it forward, and De Bruyne, uh, sorry, Haaland runs with the ball, and then Toza tackles him and slides it straight into the net. <laughs> As if things could get any worse for Wrexham. Right, with 20 minutes left, we're hunting for double figures now. So Alfonso Davis to Kimmich, De Bruyne, Linkovic Savage could hit it, but no, he's going to send it back to Kimmich. Finds Haaland. Finds Davis, who might have a shot, but it's gone to Mo, who does, and it's blocked. Bit of pinball, and then it's coming back to our defence. Oh, Virgil keeps it in. There's just no relief for Wrexham at all, is there? And to be honest, though, I mean, 70 te 72nd minute and they're all still in great condition. They've hardly broken a sweat. And that was a nice idea from Mbappe, but it was uh, a bit too close to Dibble, perhaps. And it's another corner. Mm. This time it was uh, that the, the ball in wasn't particularly good and the defence got it away. Quite a few over the 9.0 threshold now. Ten minutes to go, can we get another? It'd be nice to finish in double figures. Another very strange throw in from them. They probably just don't know what's hit them. Haaland shoots from distance, but it's blocked. Milankovic Savic finds Salah. Who finds Arnold? Trent Arnold, Alexander Arnold, who's going to cross to Salah, who. Ooh, shot, whose shot is blocked. De Bruyne is there in the box. Uh, headed away. And as far as Kimmich, who tack and then uh, Trent is tackled before he can do anything with the, uh, the ball. I think I'll do another weird throw in. They actually find one of their own players this time. Alright, so perhaps 10 minutes including added time now. They're going to get a cross in. But do we think they'll get a shot on target before the end? They do, but Alisson's there equal to it. Possibly starting to tire a little bit now, um, but we're, as I said, we're going to keep them on for the 90 minutes. Another corner by Kimmich. Oh, this was Milinkovic Savage this time, who just powers a header into the back of the net, and that's number 10. Very nice. 
Still no hat tricks though. Well, there's a hat trick of assists from Kimmich, who's on a perfect ten now, despite not scoring. So we've got about 60 more seconds of play. We've got to the double figures. That probably is it, unless we can just pick a last minute thing out. Will they get a consolation though? They're attacking here. We've got a ball across. Um, but Salah's got it away. Haaland to Mbappe, but they didn't really sort of read each other's runs particularly well, so Mbappe's continuing. Centres it, but it misses Haaland again. They're not quite on the same wavelength, these two. Which to be expected, this is literally the first time they've played together, <laughs> so, you know, that's not so bad. And we got Virgil. Oh. I think they're probably just going to waste the t rest of the 10 seconds now. Although saying that, Salah's got the ball. About five seconds to try and do something. As long as we can get an offensive move going, they may let the time run out. No, no, that's it. So, 10-0. No hat-tricks, but a bunch of different scorers, so pretty happy about that. Look, at them, They were pretty evenly distributed throughout the uh, 90 minutes as well. Let's have a look. So we had 49 shots, 22 on target. They had three, and they did get one on target at, near the end. Uh... We doubled our XG, basically, with uh, five predicted. 20 corners. I forget how many we scored from corners at the end. It was either three or four. And we missed a penalty. Don't forget. 63% uh, possession, so they won some back in the second half. Um, but yeah, otherwise, pretty successful. So we'll uh, praise the lads for that. And uh, yeah, see what the media is saying about it. Scarlet Tweed comments, decent result, decent match. On to the next one now. <laughs> As if that's the sort of thing you just witness every day. So yeah, so Haaland scored two. Salah got two. Van Dijk got two. De Bruyne got two. That was the own goal. And then SMS at the end got the tenth. On the same day that Thomas Tuchel got sacked by uh, Chelsea. So that's fun. Perfect ten for Boring United. Unlikely to ever be matched, I would expect. So there we go. That was the Gigan Press system in action with all of the ideal players that I picked out for each position and a pretty nice result. So that was quite, I think that's quite a nice way to finish the series, just a little bit of fun there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you on Boring Dad Gaming for other content as well. Bye for now.